chicken sandwich been saved, Popeyes. Mm. The thing got the chicken sandwich, and I don't even know if I want it. I might go get something else, a burger. I don't think they got the chicken sandwich. It don't look like they got it. I guess you ain't got the same. Out. We did. Yeah. We got it. We got it. They ain't got the chicken sandwich. Jeez. Now you really want it. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't even got the Popeye's chicken sandwich. We're in Atlanta. We just made it to Atlanta. Waiting on our, our Uber to the hotel to get set up for the Vertimax certification tomorrow. So, pretty dope. Finally in the hotel. Look, Steph, that's, yeah, not, long that's not what I need to hear right now, okay? I'm yeah, trying to be traveling. And this is what you need. Yeah, live went to the wrong. It's just been a long, long night. Long day, long night. Okay. I reserved online. Where are we at now? I don't see it, Mr. Bullet. This is a comfort in, right? Yes, sir. I do not see. I only got two more check ins. I don't see a bullet. Alright. When did you do it, Mr. Bullet? Tonight. I at got my confirmation. Time? You know what time you did it? I did it at. Like hours ago or? Like about an hour ago. Yeah, you know, it takes up to three hours for it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, where's Chichi Lala? Where? Been dealing with the Vertimax now for about... Man. Ooh. I say 12 years. The first time I got on the Vertimax, I was getting ready for the for my NFL Pro Day. And um, I was training with Mike Goff in Florida. Um... And remember when I was telling you about the bird mates? Yeah. And um, yeah, that was the craziest thing I ever seen. And that's, I knew I had to have one. And ever since I got one, I've been training on the bird max ever since. But now, with all, everything I learned from using the bird max, watching videos, understanding, I'm really, really about to dive in. Out here, flew out to Atlanta. About to, about to gain some serious knowledge. Call me in and uh, go straight up. Still got the top straight up. Mm -hmm. Not done until 4.50. Where are you going to put your certificate? Where are you going to put your certificate? I'm going to take a picture of it. Or you just, just for your little bio. Yeah. I wonder how many people it is here. <laughs> this is me and you. It's really going to be long. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be engaged. <laughs> Are you gonna know more workouts though? Let me look at the schedule. It's a long day ahead. But a good day. It's a long but good day ahead. <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> Tired. <laughs> Long day of traveling that way. <laughs> Time for the class. We, we still gotta learn. You know, we, we always want to be able to learn, maximize, get back to the players, to the athletes. We coming with some real stuff now. It's about to get dangerous. Boys about to be jumping out the gym for real. My volleyball girls. Ooh, ooh. About to be jumping like crazy. 
Feel how you had the fire, especially on the lateral ones, right? Yeah, yeah. mainly on the lateral. Yeah. The lateral ones. Right what you doing? Man, we, we here getting a lot. We getting a lot of knowledge right now. Um, learning on this Vertimax. About to bring some some serious stuff back to the bullet experience. The lateral movement is so important because in sports, like our coach was saying, we don't move as much or as far as we think we're going straight ahead. A lot of our, of our movements are side to side um, in shorter distances. It's not until you did some sort of multi-directional execution, some sort of drop and turn, and then we're into linear sprints. It's very rare that we do this. Pretty cool to learn some new stuff about the Vertimax. Excited to bring it back to the Jerry Bullet Training Center. <laughs> Corrective exercise. Level one would be red. Level two would be blue. Level three would be back to red. Here's why, right? When we're talking about using this, we're no longer using this to overload the system, right? We're using this to stimulate the system. So the more heat that we put on here, the more it's gonna force your muscles to activate and say, okay, there's something here that's pulling me to my side. I better balance this out so I'm not shifting. Well, what do you do when this is not there? Not that we add more weight, it's that we take that weight away. And can you still achieve that same type of muscle activation when there's nothing external forcing you to? I wanted him to try that over there. So, Think about that with your athletes. It's not just we're using resistance as an overloading mechanism, but as a stimulating mechanism. And when it's a stimulating mechanism, the progression is downwards with weights, not upwards. Real good session. Um, a lot that you can do laterally, single leg, that we're gonna bring back. Um, nice stuff. I've been learning a lot. Um, a lot of stuff that we did not know about the Vertimax, and we're bringing some new Vertimaxes back. To the gym we're gonna get the raptors and the v8ex so i think our athletes will really like those a lot of different exercises that we really didn't know about but now we're learning i always got to keep learning so very excited to show the guys what we learned today and how we can implement it at our facility they fire a lot of different things all at the same time right the intensity there was very low and, and it even gets lower when we're trying to advance it right when we're doing something that's super simple, like a jump, that's actually pretty simple to us. Athlete and a novice athlete is how much force they put into the ground when that foot hits the ground, right? So your elite athletes are gonna be about 2.5 times their body weight, whereas your novice athletes are gonna be 1.8 times their body weight whenever their foot hits the ground, right? So for a 150 pound athlete, for you to run super fast, you gotta be producing upwards of 375 pounds of force every time you play this game, right? For a novice athlete, they're only gonna produce about 250 pounds of force. You can use it for speed and agility, power and strength. You can use it for, I don't necessarily recommend using Vertimax for power and strength, other than um, low, low, low power implements. No, I'm not gonna lie, this pizza was the best pizza I've had in a long time or maybe because it was new like this was kind of like Chipotle but for pizza you got to make your own pizza then they put it in the oven with the fire 
the crust was good, the sauce was good, everything was good. Honestly, I don't know why they don't have nothing like this in Texas, but hey, it was good. And uh, if I ever see it again, I will definitely be back. And yeah, if anyone knows me, they know how much I love pizza, all kinds of different pizza. And this is uh, something that needs to come to Dallas, Texas. Thank you. We just finished the break. Now we got part two. We'll be done here. At, we'll be done here at four o'clock. So a lot more stuff to learn. It's been a long 24 hours, but we're almost there. Game time. Whoever's, whoever's got it on, let's go ahead and get buckled up. What we're gonna do is a little half knee flexion. So we're gonna keep that knee bent at 90 degrees. From here, we're gonna drive that knee up into the chest and then back out to 90 degrees. Let's get five. Five reps. Ready? Yep. Now, next one, five full reps coming up and out. Up and out. Here you go. Ten reps, out and in. Just your, your right leg. Cool. Yep, that's it. Straight out, just straight out, not up. Just straight out. Oh, okay. Next one, from that same position with the cord pulling you out, we're driving that knee straight up, straight up. Straight up into the chest. Yep. 90 degrees. We're going to get that hip extension, pushing straight back. Stay tall with your posture. Try to get that glute to fire. <laughs> keep it bent, keep it bent. Don't extend the knee. Just extend the hip. I can't repeat it. He said, I'm going to be like, I can dance. I'm like, something wrong with you, man. <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to think it's going to be All right, line down in the back, line down in the back. Remember, we're starting with half reps, all right? On these, we've got five of everything. All right, so knee bent 90 degrees. We're gonna all the way up into the chest, half reps. Let's get five half reps. <laughs> After you do your five half reps, we're pulling you outwards. Yeah, there you go. Alright, let's get ten now. Ten reps going out and in. Ten reps. Good. You feel that hip activation? From that same yeah. position. Yep, just keep it back. Yeah, that's it, yep. Good, say it's all. You had it right the first Ooh. time? There you go, yeah. Will you go back? Yeah. I'm in there, I guess. <laughs> Good. All right, now, stand your leg straight. Leg straight. Keep your ankle flexed and your foot is pointed towards you. Push. Here we go. Good. Am I good? I just want to push and push out off of the uh, outside leg. So it's just a shuffle push. We're at base position. Push, get as much ground, cover as much ground as you can. Try not to get too much. What's the DBs do? Game time. Hmm. Anytime you got to cover. Andre Johnson. Mm. Go ahead and do your second set. You like the smooth resistance? Yeah, it's not jerky. Hey, how y'all on the red belt? Oh, no, I'm talking about them too. They don't want to talk to No, the other one. The other one. Yeah. You want me to shoot the Yes. <sighs> yeah, like that. That's it. Yep. So you don't want to go on. I got it. Not a <laughs> that makes more effects in the video. I'm going to do it this way again. You got to get the uh. shed warmed up. <laughs> 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 Be careful, guys. Uh, no. <laughs>
control movements. Stay new this way. Oh my god. Yeah, there you go. But you gotta think about it a lot more, right? Yeah. Look good, bro. After that first one, he's straight. Same exact thing that I was telling them. Let's come back in over here. Go ahead, go ahead, get set up. Go ahead, get set up. First thing, always want to have good posture, chest out, shoulders back. Now, when we have a wide base like this, we can't push off of this. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is take this step in and then go out. But that's wasted movement, right? Wait, wait, same, face the same direction, face the same direction. Face the same direction, whichever you were. Now we're going crossover step, ready? Jump feet, come up. Because if we can't do it with our feet planted, then guess what? Whatever mistake that we were doing before, when we add rhythm and tempo to it, now it gets, that becomes even bigger and bigger. All right? Now, take a look at this. I told you what we were gonna do. Now we're gonna go into it, and can you execute those mechanics when you have to react? All right, so let's go ahead and get in. Same thing. You right, baby. Poop was mixed. Now come back out this way. Now what this resistance is doing is us is doing. Okay. So watch how you have the sound space now. See that? Yeah. See how it forces you into that rotation? Yeah. So for some of our athletes that, that don't rotate enough. Wrap around one time. So you know that boom. Yeah, keep going, keep going. There you go. Good. Now go. So face out like this. Now this. We don't want to finish here. We want to finish up. Yeah. Tall, hips extended, chest out. Oh, we're going to go one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Get there quick. Because you want to be fixed. I guess you want to be fixed. You make it harder. The, 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 the more you come in, the easier it is to catch. The further you go, the harder he's going to throw it. So, yeah. if you just come in right here, it's not. Now I got you. I wasn't ready for Use a handle. You can use the strap, whatever you want. We're just going to hold out here. When we do this move, I want to be in that base position, athletic position. I'm going to hinge from the hips and keep good posture. And then the arms are going to go straight out. Now, when I shuffle out, I want this whole. Uh, I, I want my body to move as one whole unit, coming out and over, out and over. What I don't want is for the, the arms to lag behind and then I fix, right? So it's not a lagging and fix. It's staying here, chest out, shoulders back, coming out, coming out, coming out. And then we'll do the same thing, coming back, coming back. All right, so we'll go into, first off, chest out, shoulders back, hips forward, hips forward, hips forward. That's where we want those hips to be. Right, the spine should be kind of perpendicular, or not perpendicular, but parallel to the shin. So we're there, there, that's it, right? So many people, so many kids, you can relax for a second. So many kids, because they've been told to get low when they run, they, they give you a false sense of 
getting low by just bending from the waist and doing that. That's not us getting low. Us getting low is driving those hips forward here. Hips, hips, hips. Hips, hips, hips. Come on, hips, hips. That's it. Now push up out of there forward. Man, it's a wrap. We did it. Vertimax certified. I don't know anybody else that has this besides the Bullet Brothers. Um, but no, seriously, man, that class was like awesome. I learned a lot, a lot. And I think I learned more. Um, no, I don't want to say more because you learn a lot by, by performing and doing. The one thing that I learned is uh, other things and opportunities to get you quicker, to get you jumping higher and get you running faster in a shorter amount of time. And then other ways to be able to to be more dynamic and more athletic and explosive. Oh, we about to really bring some stuff back to the bullet experience. It's, it's, it's about to get real. Sometimes you just need that extra education to take you over the top. It don't stop here though. We got more classes, more things we got to learn. So. Long weekend in the books, but we finished. Now we long weekend in the books. We finished. Now we headed home. We certified. And now it's back to work. Time to use the knowledge that we learned to our clients back home, making them bigger, faster, stronger. Can't wait to get to work with the guys. See y'all back in Dallas.